friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another weekly WW meal prep. I cannot wait to share my recipes with you guys. We are doing the challenge this week on my Facebook group. So if you have not joined my Facebook group, I'm gonna put it right there on the screen for you. So all of the meal prep that you're going to see are the three recipes that I will be eating throughout the week, along with everyone else participating in this challenge. So I have a breakfast recipe and I have two lunch recipes. Cannot wait to share them all with you. They are all absolutely delicious and of course, WW friendly. So if you wanna see what I have in store for meal prep this week, then just stay tuned. breakfast this week, we are going to be having a breakfast hash brown casserole. You guys, this sounds so good. You are not going to need anything else for breakfast other than some fruit because you have your protein, you have your starch, and you even have some cheese. So let me show you first what is in this week's casserole. So you're going to need some milk or milk alternative. I'm going to be using this Fairlife non-fat milk, Bisquick Heart Smart baking mix, of course, some salt and pepper, eggs, chicken sausage. I'm using this Isernio's mild chicken sausage. It is only one smart point for two and a half ounces, so it is so good on points, and it's delicious. You're also going to need an onion, and for cheeses, I am doing half fat-free cheddar cheese and half light Mexican blend from Trader Joe's. And lastly, you're going to need some diced hash browns. So let's get together our breakfast casserole. The first thing we need to do for our breakfast casserole is we wanna cook down our sausage. So I added my one pound of Isernio's chicken sausage. To that, I'm gonna just add some diced up onions and we're gonna let our sausage cook down and our onions begin to soften and then we're gonna add in our hash browns. Once your sausage and your onions have cooked down, you guys, this smells amazing. We're gonna go ahead and add in two and a half cups of our frozen hash browns and we're going to let these cook down until our hash browns have gotten a little bit crispy. And then if there's any extra liquid, which there probably won't be, the sausage is so lean, then we're gonna go ahead and drain out the extra liquid as well. After you've got your potatoes and your chicken sausage cooked down, look at how good that looks. We're gonna add this to a greased nine by 13 baking dish. And we're just gonna spread this out evenly over the bottom of our baking dish. You guys, I'm telling you, this chicken sausage is the best. And the points are so low on it. And it is, such, it is so good. So we're just gonna get that kind of nice and spread out evenly over the bottom of our casserole dish and then we're gonna put together our egg and biscuit mixture and then we're done. We're ready to put this in the fridge for a while before we bake it, but this is looking delicious. Let's put together our egg mixture. So we're gonna need a medium sized bowl. I did lightly beat my five eggs. So we're gonna add those. So lightly beat them, don't go too crazy with the beating of your eggs. And then we are also going to add in our milk which is one and three quarters cup of our Fair Life. And then we have one cup of our Bisquick Health, Heart Health mix. So we're gonna add in that. And then in here I have one cup of my light shredded cheese, one cup of my fat free cheese. And we're gonna add that. And then lastly is just some salt and pepper. And do that to your taste, of course. We love a lot of pepper and my husband will be eating whatever's left over of this casserole. And then of course we're gonna add in some pink salt as well. And then we're gonna stir this all together and this is gonna just get poured over the top of our sausage and hash brown mixture. But the, uh, yeah, I cannot wait for this breakfast casserole. It's very hearty and substantial. So it's enough to keep you full and pair it with the side of fruit. And yeah, it's a perfect, perfect breakfast. So you're going to take your egg and biscuit mixture and just pour it directly over the top of your sausage and potato mixture. And then we are going to stir this together. So we want to get this nice and stirred together. 
so that those potatoes and chicken are mixed in really well with the biscuit and the cheese mixture, you guys. This is heaven. This is looks amazing. So we're gonna get that nice and mixed together and then I'm gonna put some saran wrap on it and we're gonna throw it in our fridge for a few hours while we do our lunch meal prep and then we'll get this cooked. The recipe wants it in the fridge for eight hours. I probably will only keep mine in there for just a couple to do the lunch prep and then kind of clean up a little bit before we throw this into the oven. But look at this casserole, absolutely delicious. Breakfast casserole has been pulled out of the fridge. You can see it's nice and solidified from that baking mix, so it is good to go. I'm gonna go ahead and cover it with a piece of foil, and we're gonna pop it into the oven for 45 minutes. So our hash brown breakfast casserole's out of the oven, you guys. This looks incredible. This, it, to me, looks like the best casserole that I've ever made on my channel. I mean, it is thick, it is hearty with that biscuits and the sausage. I cannot wait to dig in to this casserole. I'm gonna let it cool for a little while, then we're gonna cut it into eight servings. We'll box it up for meal prep, and I'll show you a serving size and give you the smart points, but this one is looking like a definite must make. So our breakfast hash brown casserole is done. Okay, I tried this, you guys. This is my favorite casserole, hands down, that I've literally ever made on my channel. I divided mine into eight servings, so this is one eighth of the casserole. So this is a huge serving. You can see over here that I've put the other three servings in a bowl for my husband. Look at that. It is so fluffy from the biscuit mix. It literally tastes like a cheddar sausage biscuit. I mean, it is that incredibly good, but you can taste the potatoes from the hash browns and all the cheese. Uh, it is amazing. So I'm going to be having one eighth of the hash brown breakfast casserole, and I'm just gonna simply pair this with a fruit for zero points. So the only thing that I have to count points for is my actual slice of the hash brown casserole. And one eighth of this casserole, so one of these huge slices, five smart points. So this entire breakfast is only five smart points. And you guys, definitely make this casserole, hands down, my favorite I've ever made. For lunches this week, or part of our lunch, we're gonna be making Jamie Eason's turkey meatloaf muffins. I have made these before, and these are literally one of my favorite things. They are so low points, and they are truly delicious. So I have had the recipe. It does call for two pounds of meat, but that's just too many muffins for me. So I went ahead and halved the recipe. So let me show you what is in our Jamie Eason turkey muffins. So first you're going to need minced garlic, Worcestershire sauce, salt and pepper. The recipe calls for chicken broth, but I have this vegetable broth already opened and it's only a half of a cup in the full recipe. So I'm just gonna use what I have already opened in the vegetable broth. Quick cook oats. Seasonings, we're gonna be using the Dax Original Red, and we're gonna use this in place of the Chipotle seasoning that the recipe calls for. One, I don't like spice that much, and two, this seasoning is amazing. Zero salt, 100% natural. There is nothing artificial in this seasoning. Great for right before weigh-in because it lacks salt, so no water retention when you weigh in, and the flavor is delicious. If you would like to purchase Dax, they have over 20 seasonings, and every one is amazing. Go ahead and hop on their website. Use my code here on the screen. You'll get 10% off and free shipping on your order. Highly recommend that you give Dax a try. So I'm gonna add some original red to my muffins. We also have some garlic powder, cumin, I'm gonna do minced onion versus fresh onion because I like my onion pieces really small in my meatloaf muffins. We'll need a red pepper, eggs, and some celery. And last but not least, 99% fat-free ground turkey. If you do decide to use a higher fat content turkey, just recalculate your points. And let's get started on our turkey meatloaf muffins. The first step for our muffins is we're gonna chop up about a half of a red bell pepper and one stalk of celery. I'm gonna do two. I just like a little bit more pepper and celery in my muffins. Even though I am having the recipe, I'm still gonna put quite a bit of the veggies in there. So I'm gonna get these chopped up and then we're ready to assemble our turkey muffins. So the first thing we need 
to do for our muffins is saute down our vegetables. So I have sprayed my pan here with some nonstick cooking spray. To that, I'm gonna add my celery and my red pepper that we chopped up. This is also where you would add in your fresh onion, but I'm gonna go ahead and add in my minced onion, just a little bit of a minced onion. And then we're also going to put in a fairly good sized scoop of minced garlic. And we're just gonna let this saute down for just a few minutes. As your vegetables are beginning to soften, we're gonna go ahead and add in our one quarter cup of chicken broth or vegetable broth, whatever you are using. And then one tablespoon of our Worcestershire sauce. And so half of a tablespoon if you're halving the recipe. So we're gonna go ahead and add that in. And then we're just gonna let this cook for a couple more minutes. We just wanna make sure that our vegetables are nice and softened. And then we're gonna allow this to cool for a couple minutes as well before we put together our meatloafs. Now we're ready to assemble our meatloaf muffins. So I have my pound of 99% fat-free lean ground turkey. To that, I'm going to add one half of a cup of quick cook oats. I'm also adding one egg white because again, remember I'm having the recipe. I'm also going to add quite a bit of seasoning. So first some black pepper. And again, do that to your taste. As you know, I do like quite a bit of pepper in my food. So I'm gonna add some ground black pepper. We're also going to add in some salt. So a little bit of salt. And then we're ready for our Dax Original Red. So we're just gonna put a little bit of that in there. And then garlic powder. And lastly, some cumin which is gonna add such a nice authentic flavor to it. I'm gonna give this a quick stir just to get that egg, that egg white combined a little bit here in my ground turkey. And then the last thing that we have to do is add in our sauteed down vegetables. So give that a nice big stir, get everything nice and combined, and then we're ready to roll these into balls and put these in our muffin tin. Next, we're going to grab our muffin pan. I'm making six turkey meatloaf muffins. These are amazing. These are the silicone cupcake or muffin liners. I bought these off of Amazon. They are linked down in my Amazon store below. Must have for any type of muffin, cupcake, you name it. They're awesome. I did spray them with a little bit of nonstick cooking spray. And then here we have our meat mixture. So what we're going to do is I always like to take my hands and just make sure that everything is really truly nice and combined together. We wanna to make sure the egg is in with all of our turkey. And then we are going to roll these into six balls. And these are gonna be quite large muffins, which is great because we're gonna have one per day. So go ahead and roll your mixture into a ball and we're just gonna pop that into our liner. And we're gonna repeat that until all six of our liners have a delicious turkey meatloaf muffin. we put these in the oven I'm gonna take some nonstick cooking spray and I'm just gonna spray the top it just helps them brown up a little bit get them nice and crispy and look at how delicious these look so I'm gonna put these in the oven at 375 until they are completely cooked through our turkey meatloaf muffins are out of the oven look at how absolutely delicious these look Yum, these are huge. So I'm gonna allow these to cool and then I'm gonna pop them out of their silicone liner. And once we get our broccoli salad made and put together, we'll get our meal preps for lunch for the week all assembled. The second part of this week's lunch is going to be broccoli bacon salad. This is a nice, cold, refreshing salad for this time of year. I am excited to have this. Broccoli and bacon uh, sounds amazing. So here's what's in our salad. So first you're going to need some salt and pepper. Of course, some broccoli, light mayo, carrots, half of a red onion, apple cider vinegar, slivered or sliced almonds. I'm gonna do these Trader Joe's unsalted dry toasted slivered almonds, reduced sugar craisins, 
and of course the star of the show, bacon. So let's get started on our broccoli and bacon salad. The first thing we need to do for our broccoli salad is prepare our vegetables. So we are going to thinly slice a red onion, put it in a bowl. We are going to shred up our two carrots, put those in a bowl, and then we're going to chop up our heads of broccoli and put those in a larger bowl. And then we're ready to get started putting together and cooking up our salad. for the broccoli salad sorry for the microwave noise I have my bacon for the salad cooking away in the microwave but I did bring four cups of salted water to a boil and to that we are going to add in our broccoli florets we're going to flash cook these for about five minutes in the meantime I'm going to add some ice and water to this bowl and then we're gonna pop our cooked broccoli florets into this bowl to get them nice and blanched and ready to make the salad after you've cooked your broccoli down for about five minutes, we are going to use a slotted spoon and we are going to move our broccoli into an ice bath. To blanch it, it'll keep its nice dark green color and it will cool it off very, very quickly. So I'm gonna remove all the broccoli, toss it in my ice bath and let it cool for a few minutes and then we're ready to put together our salad. So the first step to put our broccoli salad together is I've added my drained cold broccoli to a rather large bowl. To that, I'm going to add my two shredded carrots. Now you can shred yours in a food processor or you could even buy the julienne carrots. I just like mine shredded really, really finely. So this works really well. And then I have my half of a red onion thinly sliced now i love onion so i am in for all of this onion it looks so good and then here are my slices of bacon all crisped up and crumbled and then one half of a cup of the slivered almonds and one half of a cup of the reduced sugar craisins and then we're going to give this a nice stir get everything nice and combined look at how fresh and summery and delicious this looks and then i'm going to simply mix together our dressing for the salad and we're done it was really really easy i think the longest part honestly is just kind of chopping everything up but it looks delicious so i'm going to set this aside and let's put together our dressing so let's put together our dressing so i have one half of a cup of light mayo and then i have three tablespoons of apple cider vinegar and we're just going to add a little bit of pepper and we're going to add a little bit of salt and this is very easy we're just going to take a little whisk and you're just going to whisk it together until everything is nice and combined and then we'll add this in with our fresh broccoli salad and that is going to complete it so super easy just give that a nice good mix and the last step is we're going to add in our dressing that we just made in with our broccoli salad. Oh, this looks so good. It smells so good. And then just take your spoon and just get it a nice stir. Make sure everything is mixed together, that dressing and everything is combined onto the broccoli salad. And I will give you a tip with this salad. It is best to make this a day ahead of time. It gives a chance for all the flavors to really meld together when you make it in advance and allow it to sit into the fridge. So it's going to be perfect because I won't actually be eating this until Monday, which is tomorrow for my part of my lunch. So I'm going to get this all mixed together and then we're ready to get our lunches for the week assembled. And my turkey muffins are nice and cool as well. So look at how good this looks. So here is our completed lunches for the week. I am incredibly excited for this lunch. I know those muffins are amazing and I tried that broccoli salad. You guys, it is a must, must make. So I decided to have one of my turkey muffins. One of these muffins is only one smart point. So it's a super huge muffin. It is delicious for one smart point. 
And then over here I have one sixth of my broccoli casserole. The recipe actually makes six servings and one sixth of this is only five smart points. So this lunch is a six smart point lunch and look at everything that you're getting. So absolutely positively delicious. And this salad, you guys, you have to make it. It is so good. Everything is so good. And I'm going to be having some cherries. I grabbed this bag of fresh cherries. So I'll be having a serving of those. And then for something sweet, I'm going to be having one of my sweet nothings. This is the peanut nougat cluster. I love this one. It literally tastes like a Snickers. You can have one of these chocolates and they look just like that. I mean, they are delicious. 35 calories, one of these chocolates for one smart point. You cannot beat it at all. They are delicious. They satisfy that little bit of a sweet tooth. These are purchased on the Protein Wise website. There is a link down in my description box. If you click the link, it will give you $10 off your first order. So you can't beat it. That website has so many great WW foods. Definitely pick yourself up some sweet nothings. So I'm gonna have one of those as well. So I have one for my sweet nothings, zero for my cherries, five smart points for my broccoli salad, and one for my muffin. So this is a total lunch of seven smart points. That's it, you guys, seven points for this delicious lunch. I wanna share with you guys kind of a bonus recipe. This comes courtesy of my very good friend, Amanda Lewis, over at her YouTube channel, Amanda Lewis. This is her creation, her recipe. I wanted to share it with you guys, though, because it is so incredibly easy to make and it legit tastes like peanut butter so if you're missing the peanut butter taste if you don't want to use your points on that if you don't like pb2 mixed with water you have to try this because it is so delicious so first you're going to need some sort of a jar you do want to store this in the refrigerator once you make it so i'm just going to use a ball jar you're going to need some pb2 some sugar-free syrup and any type of milk or milk alternative. So let me show you, this is so easy, how to put together this amazing peanut butter. All right guys, super easy. I took my PB2 and I put three tablespoons in my ball jar. And then here I have one quarter cup of sugar-free syrup. So I'm going to add that directly to my PB2. And then we are simply going to give this a mix and mix this together. Now, if the consistency is too thick for you, this is where you can add just a splash of cashew or almond milk. So I'm gonna mix this up and I'll show you how legit peanut butter this is. All right, you guys, look at this. That is the consistency of real peanut butter and i did add just a tiny little bit of the cashew milk it tastes like peanut butter it's the consistency of peanut butter and you can have one tablespoon for only one smart point so you can use this on waffles on pancakes on toast and you're not missing out on peanut butter any longer so thank you amanda so much for sharing this recipe with us i'm gonna pop this in my fridge so i have peanut butter on hand so here's what I'm gonna be taking for snacks this week. I'll probably throw a light string cheese in the mix as well. But first, I'm going to be having a Built Bar. Of course, this is always, always my morning snack. So this week, I am doing a strawberry chocolate cream. And just a heads up, this is being discontinued for a while. So make sure you order as soon as possible if strawberry is one of your favorites. I'm also bringing a mocha, which is now a permanent flavor. Super exciting a cinnamon chocolate, which you can no longer purchase, but it's one of my favorite flavors, a lemon chocolate cream, which is also being discontinued. Again, the lemon and the strawberry, so make sure you order those as soon as possible so you don't miss out. And then a mint brownie delight, which is honestly one of my favorite flavors. This one is also permanent, so that's very exciting. These Built Bars are only three smart points. They have 15 grams of protein and they have six grams of fiber, and they are delicious. They taste like a candy bar. They keep me full between breakfast and lunch, so I'm gonna be having one of these. If you're interested in picking up any of these discontinued flavors or the new permanent flavors of a mocha and mint brownie delight, Go ahead and click the link down in the description box. My discount code is here on the screen. It will save you 10% and offer you free shipping. It is okay to order in this heat as well, you guys. They send them with ice packs. I have never had mine come melted, so that is a good thing. So morning snack is a built bar. I also have been wanting to try these new Fiber 170 calorie, this is the lemon. 
I heard from my friend Amanda that these are only okay, but I think I'm gonna nuke mine for a couple of seconds. That might help them. But these are only two smart points. So this is the new lemon fiber one. Do not scan these, you guys. They will come up as three smart points. Enter the nutritional information and you will see that they are two. So I'm gonna have one of those. And then I'm gonna have my toasted coconut vanilla Dan and Light and Fit Greek yogurt. I'm going to top that with my favorite thing ever, which is the vanilla or any of the Julian Bakery Pro Granola. These, check out these stats, you guys. You can have an entire half of a cup of this granola for only two smart points. What I do though is only put a tablespoon or two here on my yogurt and it is zero smart points. This granola is amazing. It, this particular one is vegan because it is made with a pea protein. They are paleo and keto friendly, nothing artificial, low carb, high protein, gluten free and grain fee free and nothing artificial colors or flavorings. You guys, amazing granola, amazing, amazing, amazing. You can have it on yogurt. You can have it with some almond milk. I use it in baking. So definitely check out Julian Bakery Granola. You have to click my link down in the description box and then at checkout, enter my code. My code will be here on the screen and you'll get free shipping on your Julian Bakery Granola. You cannot beat that. You do have to click my link and enter the code though to qualify for the free shipping. So I'm going to do that. So that is only two smart points. So three for my built bar, two for my yogurt because it is zero for my granola and two for my pro fiber one bar. So that is going to be my snacks for the upcoming week. Thank you for joining me on another weekly WW meal prep. Again, this is the recipe that everybody on my Facebook group that's joining in this week's challenge all going to be eating. They are WW friendly, delicious, low points. I've developed an entire menu and recipes for the entire week. So check it out on my Facebook group if you haven't joined already. We have almost 7,000 people, 7,000 wonderful positive people. So check out my Facebook group. If you're new to my channel, I'd like to welcome you. Make sure that you subscribe and hit the bell. That way you're notified each and every time that I upload. I'd love it if you thumbs up this one. Comment down below. Let me know what you thought of these recipes and which one or all of them do you want to try. And I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye!